Well, good morning, everyone. Saturday morning. I'm super excited to talk to a friend of mine. Um, we were just reminiscing on uh, how our lives have crossed so many times. But uh, today, she's going to be sharing with some of her thoughts about uh, being resilient. So without any further ado, I'd like to bring in Carolyn Hennessy. Hey, Carolyn. Hello, my friend. How are you? I'm so well. <laughs> great to see you virtually. Thank you. It's great to see you virtually, too. And I look forward to the time when I can see again at the castle. Absolutely. Uh, you know, dealing, dealing, dealing. De <clears throat> so, um, as you know, I started this platform, Being Different is Your Superpower. And, and uh, you know, through my journey of healing after my face was paralyzed, and you knew me before and after, by the way. Um, I, did. I did. Yeah. Um, I discovered that once you own your adversity, whatever it is, and you accept who you are, um, it opens so many doors. Um, and so that being, that resilience is something that um, we all need to figure out how to do in our life and to... Uh, accept that and to use that as a tool to just move forward. So um, I wanted to, uh, I know I've watched you, some of your videos online where you talk about it. And I thought uh, my community of uh, about 500 people right now would love to hear some of your thoughts on how to find resilience. Well, <laughs> well, first of all, let's, let's, the, the, Videos are very interesting. Yes, it's 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 I call it the daily challenge. Carolyn Hennessy's daily challenge, which can be found for those who are interested on Instagram, on my on my on Instagram. And one of the things I think that you were looking at, because I give I give two challenges to people every day. Sometimes one, but more often than not, two of things you things you can do to, especially in this particular time period, which is just fraught with, you know, fear. Fear and anger and loneliness and boredom. And, and so there's this very specific kind of resilience that we need right now to not kind of send ourselves mentally off the edge. So the, the, the daily challenge where I mentioned resilience was, I said to people, okay, today your challenge is to either, I can't remember, that what the first one was, but the second one was to go to an Al-Anon meeting because you you will see there your your brethren who are you know your your human your human brethren who are fighting every day to to maintain and even sometimes just stasis. Sometimes it's just you know you just they to 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 stay upright. And I see you will never see a greater wash of of sometimes despair, but resilience and hope. And and that's that's what resilience in the daily challenge. But human beings, <laughs> the human body and the human spirit simply does not want to be crushed. It doesn't want to be thwarted. No matter how if you gotta take medication, fine. You know, if you're if if you if you suffer from a depression, if you suffer from and you and you need that fine more power to you but whatever way it is that you may you stay upright that's that's that is you accepting your own resilience and resilience can be a superpower it's it's because it especially this in this in this day and age it's so incredibly tough we we want to give in to terror and fear because because it's somehow comforting because everybody else is, but you can't, you can't allow yourself to do that. Um, well, when you do give into that, when you, when you do give into that, you start hiding. And when you hide, you're safe. You, you know, you, you get back in bed and right. throw the covers over your head. And at that point right. you curl right. up in a little ball and you're comfortable. You're safe. Right. right. And listen, that's, that's maybe that's fine for like five minutes. <laughs> if to do that because your body then is your, your body and your mind and your emotional history and your you know your emotions and your and you know you kind of pack it all in 
and you kind of level out. But then you got to throw the covers off and get back up and get back out of bed because you're not doing anybody any good. And our whole purpose, as far as I'm concerned, for being on this planet is to A, leave it better than we found it and B, to be happy, to be happy because when you're happy, you are doing good unless you're psychotic find pleasure in being evil, but we won't even discuss those people. But but you, when you're happy, you're doing good and you are making peop- the uh, others around you happy. That's your job. Your job is to be happy. So accompanying that first is is the resilience for the for the slings and arrows that we, we face every single day. We cannot get up, but we are just hit with stuff left and right. And and whatever your superpower is in your difference, because as many people as there are on the planet, that's how many different superheroes we have, because that's how many differences there are. You have to own your differences. Okay. And that's number one. Figure out what they are, own them, and then choose to use them for good, not evil. Because any superhero with any superpower can can go down the dark road they can go or get, they can go down the light road it's as simple as that so you have to find out what your difference is and then and then choose to use it for good and that's 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 also where resilience comes in because because humans are not naturally i don't believe humans are not naturally happy we are not even. We're, I don't. I don't necessarily think we're naturally good all the time because doing the wrong thing can be so much easier, so much easier. But we have to. We have to fight. Um, and you know, people will look at me and say, "Well, gosh, you've had it. You've had it relatively easy, haven't you?" <laughs> These are people that do not know me, shall we say? And I say, "Yeah, no, no." I am the poster child for persistence and with persistence and and a a huge component of persistence is resilience because I have not, I have had to fight for everything that I have in my life. Um, Everything, my home, my career, my, my, my health, my relationships, uh, you know, these are these are things that you know. It, because it, it, nothing, nothing has ever been handed to me, to me, shall we say? So, resilience is 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 a is a part and parcel of my my being different again and there again my my power, mm-hmm. you know, because I I could have quit long 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 ago, and one of the other things I say is the only sure way to fail is to quit. That's the only guarantee way to fail is to quit whatever you want to do whatever you're doing if you decide that it's that it's simply too hard and you quit okay all right all right but there's always a chance for success if you just stick with it if it is your bliss if it is your if it's if it's if it's you being happy Mm -hmm. so so the you know so so find find the resilience because you have it every human being has resilience they do. They just sometimes they just choose to, you know, toss it to the side because it's e- easier to sink down into the covers and you cannot allow yourself to do that. You just can't, can't because then you're giving in, then you're giving in and giving up. So. But we all through, go through times in our lives where um, we feel like it's all too much. And you have to be able to give yourself breathing room to say, accept how you feel. Know that it's true because you're feeling it, and then make a choice on whether or not you want to change it or not. And that's kind of how I define resilience is that human spirit that allows you to kick yourself in the butt and say, wait a minute, I'm not happy. I deserve to be happy. How? What actions can I take to be happy? Well, first of all, first of all, making other people happy will go a long way to making yourself happy. Else in in AA, <laughs> which I which I could also talk about, because uh, because I'm coming up on on 20 years of sobriety. So there's so there's 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 thank you yes 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 you bet absolutely look wait a minute second wait where is it here's my, yep. my sponsor sent me my Woo-hoo! my my it's a medal I'm gonna have it made in. I'm gonna have it made into a pendant. 
Um, and that is to behave as if. If you behave as if, because you may, it may be a firestorm up here. And again, you're absolutely right. We all go through it. But if you behave as if everything is okay, this will calm down. This will ultimately change. Actions can 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 influence your mental state maybe more than anything else. And if you're behaving as if every you're you're fine and you're actually taking it in, and it's not it's not a question of acting, it's a question of actually behaving and believing that it's okay and things will be okay, then people around you are going to benefit from that. But when I and believe me, there have been many days when I've kind of looked up and just shaken my fist and saying, you know, what, what are you, wh why are you putting me through this? What are you doing? I'm, I'm down here tap dancing as fast as I possibly can. And I could use a little help. What are you doing? And, and I get up the next morning and I just say to myself immediately, redouble your efforts. Don't cut them in half. Don't don't throw them to the side. Redouble your efforts to be happy, to strive for success, to make to make others happy, to do something positive, positive for yourself, positive for others. And it's not a Pollyanna wash over your life. It's just not because I'm also very pragmatic and 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 very much uh, a realist. But if you redouble your efforts, and that's your efforts in all areas, and there again, you need to tap into your stores of resilience to do that. It's a very resilient thing to say. I'm going to redouble my efforts. What does that look like? I don't know. It looks it's it's different for every individual. Mm -hmm. But if you take to your bathroom mirror, redouble your efforts, then you stand a really good chance of being happy and if listen and you and if you feel feel like you're you're a tree that's been felled in the forest then then you know you're not going to shoot up to being you know a tall redwood in in a single day start the start the shoots coming out of the trunk you know just just start it because if you're if you feel like you're at zero then then go to one and then go to two you know double it double it, double it. Because no one's ever at zero, because you can't double a zero. So if you feel like you're at one, <laughs> go, to, go to two, go to four, go to eight, go to sixteen. You know, and if it if it needs to be baby steps, then 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 it is. But you are you are you were born out with a lot of things, good and bad. But one of the things you do have is you have a storehouse of resilience. Humans simply do have it. I wanted to go they back to do. something you said uh, a little while ago about making other people happy. You know, um, yeah. after my brain tumor and facial paralysis and me hiding for 12 years because I didn't like the way I looked, um, I turned to magic. What? I didn't even notice it, John. I don't even notice it. That's that's how that's that's the right. of your personality. So I don't even notice it. Go, Understood. Go <laughs> I, I, I appreciate that. And, and during my recovery, I got that a lot from friends. Oh, don't worry about it. We don't notice it. But until you accept it deep down in your heart that it's okay, uh, you can't move forward. It's just, um, but my, you know, you've seen me perform at the Magic Castle. Um, and it's, it's an amazing time where I make that connection with people and allow them to see through my face. Mm -hmm and see my heart and who I am and what I'm talking about. Um, and that <clears throat> connection on that really intimate level is what fuels me to keep going. Because I see them being happy in the moment. John, I, I, froze. I, fr I froze. You, I froze you're, you're back. Are, we, are you back? You're back. Basically, okay. all, I, all I was saying was that uh, when I perform, yeah. I make that connection. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and that yeah. becomes almost and it allows a drug, yeah. which, uh, which makes me want to do it more and more and more. And the more I make other people happy, the more happy I am. 
Well, that's, and that is your superpower. That, I mean, I mean, we're, we live in a society and I, listen, I'm guilty of this too, because I woke up, I think I woke up six months ago and all of a sudden I went, I'm seeing, I'm seeing lines in my face that, that weren't there six months ago, but I mean like overnight and, and I'm not ashamed to say that it's difficult to accept. And these are just lying, you know, but my career is based on in large part, like my faith. So hang on a second. Something just popped up. I got to move it to the side. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of going it, and can, I'm conditioned to, to notice them and not accept them and do everything I possibly can to get rid of them. But I'm on the verge of really kind of accepting them going, yep, let's just, let's just do it gracefully. Shall we, shall we? So, and mine is, it's under the same umbrella, but it's minor in comparison to what you have gone through. To, a, absolutely. So, and it's not a question of if John can do it, I can do it. That's 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 not it because we're we're different individuals. But anyone who listens to you and watches you perform at the castle forgets forgets the physical almost instantly because because first of all mesmerized by what you're doing with your hands, and second it is it becomes very evident, very quick, and 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 it, we just process it like in an instant that you have owned all of you. You have owned past, present, and future, mm-hmm. and and therefore your joy in performing becomes our joy in watching the entire package. That is a superpower. That's it's huge. It's because yeah, yeah. And and you and you did hide and you and and fine, fine. You needed to hide for however long you needed to hide. But then, but think about how many people never own, never accept, and become. I mean, and we're not talking just physical, but mental. Um, um, the adversities of life. They don't own. They don't accept. And as a result, they are miserable and they're walking. Misery, and they make everybody around them miserable, and you don't want. And 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 it's a, it's it's a, it's a, it's tail. It's a it's a vicious cycle, because the more society doesn't accept them, the more bitter they become, and then they. You know what I mean? I'm just. It's 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 sort of typical, and we see it a lot. But you are a superhero because because you you are you're the you're at the you're at the apex you're at the you're at the acme as they say of 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 people of of being an example of walking through life with grace and and acceptance and and ownership of exactly who you are so you so you do make people happy but you also you also give a much deeper lesson that that sometimes pe- people people will walk away going, "Wow, did you see that card trick?" But they walk away having their their DNA having been changed a little bit, a little bit. They don't know it, but they will take it out with them. That I'm I'm firmly convinced that 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 is what you do, and that's what I try to do with just ownership of me as me. Listen, and and sometimes I fail because that's also part of being in a human body. We fail. We fail a lot. Otherwise, hopefully, there you to go. Own who and what and how they are and why they are. Say again. Oh, did I did I freeze? Yeah, but you're back. Did I freeze for a second? You're back. Oh, I'm back. Okay. I was just, I was saying if everyone could do that, if everyone could own who, what, how, why, where they are, and 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 accept it and love it. And, and then radiate it out. I mean, well, we wouldn't, we'd be, we'd be living on a different planet. <laughs> you know, through, all, through my platform here uh, and all the interviews I've been doing, I've been trying to bottle that. I've been trying to get enough people with different perspectives on how they have overcome adversity to give examples and be examples for those of us who are dealing with something that we haven't accepted. And, uh, that's why I've been doing all these interviews is try to get different people's perspectives on how they approached their healing. Well, I, listen, I've 
my adversity has come in that, and it's it hasn't okay. Uh, it it hasn't been adversity, but in the moments in my in my past, I have looked at it as adversity. I didn't get this particular audition. I didn't get this role. I um I I've been I I haven't progressed in my career far and as fast as I would as I first of all as as I thought I would, and second as, as I would like to have. Okay, that's all my adversity. No, I've had other adversity, obviously, but but because acting is my happy place, it's my bliss. It's and it's the only thing I'm trained for. It's the only thing I'm going to continue to do. I'm very lucky that I found what I wanted to do very early and have striven towards it for 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 all my life. But if that's my adversity, come on, please. That's number number one. Number two. That adversity, shall we say, in big quotes, has all contributed to my perspective on life now. If I'd, I'd been, I don't know, Tom Cruise or or uh, Nicole Kidman or or somebody else who made it very young, very fast, and is now at the, and is now at the top, they have a completely different perspective on on what it is to be happy, what it is to make other people happy, etc. I'm I'm sure because they have they've reached the place where all of us actors you know kind of want to be or do we do you know what I mean I am thrilled that my career is where it is right now if you ask me I hope it gets I hope it I hope it continues to grow but if it doesn't it's been a hell of a ride and I can say that now and you know adversity having played into it at, at what at whatever level it did, because it gave me my philosophical viewpoint on life and others. It gave me my it gave me the perspective that I have on the world and my career. And don't you know, and all of those elements don't compare yourself. What's relative? You know what I mean? Don't uh, don't covet. Don't, you know, be and 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 be happy. So I look at and again, the adversity that I've had, and I think, thank you, it has really sh- molded me and shaped me into someone who strives to be a um, a light. It's a little airy fairy, but a, an an example, an example. I mean that of, that does not kill you makes you stronger. You know, it's uh, that old always, adage that I always. really believe in because. Um, if everything were happy, we would be really bored. We'd be bored, and trust me, we'd get into a lot of mischief <laughs> because because happiness is exciting, but it can. But you're absolutely right; it can it can get very boring very quickly, and we'd we'd all get into mischief. I think that's what I think. So I think, but but it is our but it's our job to but it's our job to be happy and make others happy. Because because it's so hard because it's such an intangible it's so hard to find it's so hard to find and maintain so that's our that's our full time job because we're never going to be fully happy all the time and it's so always always so much easier to focus on someone else than than yourself and it's so much easier to focus on the negative yeah so much easier because neg- because the negative is sexy it's sexy it's fun gossip is fun someone else's misfortune is fun it's not. It's just not, it, but it's, but it's titillating. It's, um, it's also, Hey, look, look, did you hear what happened to them? Thank God it didn't happen to me. And again, we, we get into these comparisons, which it's part of our human nature, but it's again, we need to, we need to dig into the resilient storehouse, bring it back and say i'm going to i'm going to be resilient and resist this i'm going to use that resilience to resist this you know but um there's also what is it there's an adage that if parents if parents only passed on and not being a parent your parents out there might say well what the hell does she know but this is that if parents can only pass on 50 percent of the crap that was done to them to their kids pretty soon we'd have you know we'd have utopia but it's difficult. It's just so difficult. 
because we are not islands. We're not islands alone. We ha- and we have to interact with other people, and we've got to. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned you were uh, in AA, and that's a community of people huh. who are dealing with a similar defect, a similar problem, a similar thing that disease. the disease. Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah. um, there's, there's power in that number um, of being with someone else who is going through something similar or yeah. uh, because you're going through the same motions, the same feelings. And that is power in itself to be able to grow and feed off of other people's stories and own them as yeah. you would do for somebody else. You have to have a support system in this life. If it's just one other person, you have to have a support system. You cannot go through it alone. And it's always, it, it's always, I think, I think the book of AA and the 12 steps and the 12 traditions, those two books, should should be handed out in 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 grammar school. I think it should be a primer because it's a primer for living life. They you can say sober, but it's living life to the best of your character. And 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 what, whether you are of the opinion that it's a character defect or that it's a disease, either way, either way. Adhering to the principles that you find in the big book and the 12 and 12. They, they, they teach you to, they, they encourage you to really dig deep and discover what your character is. It's teaching, it's character building. Do you know what I mean? And so, so just not, not taking a drink or not taking a drug or whatever else it is that that comes along with with having an an active personality. Mm -hmm. That's the first Mm -hmm. step. But what comes after that is a world of good. It's a world of discovering your resilience, discovering your character, building your character into a sterling character. Um, And that's all in in those two books. Owning, you know, saying you're sorry, cleaning up what's, you know, it's your two sides of a street. So cleaning up your side of a street, um, understanding that there's a higher power, whatever you choose to make it, but also working within your community, helping others, giving others the benefit of your wisdom of experience, you know, wisdom, wisdom of experience. So, so many- and that's, and that's, and that's whether you're sober or not, whether you're, whether you're in AA or you're not, it's. That's what that's what it, it's it's teaching people how to be human, how to be good humans, good happy humans. So many times when I have a conversation with someone and gets them that that really deep level, and we're sharing, um, I learn so much about myself by hearing someone else tell, oh. to describe their their successes and failures. Um, all of a sudden, I go, "Holy crap!" I didn't even see that, but I've been doing the same thing, or I've been dealing with that in a different way. And it's so healthy to be able to just share who you are and what you're going through, through the process of wanting to help someone else. Um, I found that therapy. You, you, in- be- yeah, you benefit from that. You benefit from that for a, for, for, for a particular reason. Because you are open to it. You are open to it because you have owned who you are. And with that ownership comes a tremendous amount of security. There are those who could be in a conversation with you, want to talk about themselves, and never hear a word you're saying. Not a word you're saying. Because of the the insecurity that rests in them, the lack of ownership of who they are, because when you own who you are, and then you are able to kind of, you can be the quietest person in the room. And what I mean by, I mean by that is there's a, I, I, think, I think it was actually said in a movie somewhere, but whoever wrote it and whoever said it, wherever it was, your listeners will probably know. Um, the most powerful person in the room is the quietest person in the, person in the room. The one who's jab, 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 they're not. It's the mo- when you when, because when you when you don't have to speak, 
and you and you listen that's power having to speak and having to constantly put your viewpoint out mm-hmm. and and your and 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 your braggadocio that belies a tremendous insecurity it's like if you, i've i've got to tell you who i am that you will validate who i am the people who the people who walk through life owning who they are don't need any validation they don't need anybody they don't they don't need anybody to believe what they say believe in them etc their belief in themselves is rock solid they know what they know and it's rock solid. and therefore they are able like you to to listen and hear so I, I have no doubt that you are able to have deep conversations with people and glean something because everybody has something to offer. So I have no doubt that you are able to do that as, as I like, I fancy myself I'm able to do. <laughs> yeah, it's, okay. uh, it's, it's magical when that happens. It's when you make that connection and all of a sudden you start attracting friends who are in your corner as well and who are interested in who you are because you're interested who they are and it makes those relationships so much deeper and so much more interesting and they last those kind of relations are the ones that last yeah they become part of your inner circle and and uh and part of your support system. And the more you are able to do that, the wider that, or, or the more crowded that inner circle becomes. And you've got so many people that you can rely on, that you can go to, and that you can, you can say, look, you know, you're my friend. So I expect you to, I expect you to give it to me straight. What is, what A, B, and I have questions and I want, I want your honest answer. And, and, uh, and when you, when you are given an honest answer, and it resonates because whether we like it or not, right and wrong resonates and the truth resonates. We might not like it, but when it's given to us, we know that that person is a friend. We know that that person is a friend, provided it's given with love. <laughs> One of my viewers just po- uh, posted, Practic- practicing the difference between a reaction and a response. A response will allow you to use some principles instead of impulsive reactions that can lead to toxic toxic effects. Genius. It's genius. And it's so true. It's so true. And, and, you know, knee jerk, (laughs) we all have it. We're all conditioned. Um, uh, But if you can stifle that, if you can stifle the knee jerk, or you can have the knee jerk, but just not act on it. And until you, until you, measured response well listen there are people out there that would say well good luck of course of course it's something that's that you need to practice but yeah response versus reaction so good listener good listener that's amazing yeah yeah it's brilliant and true and true so um i really appreciate you taking time out of your saturday morning to uh um talk to uh, me and my community of uh, different people. My uh, pleasure. My my absolute pleasure. I I, uh, I, 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 I tried to run through all the analogies that I went through. It's like I talked about a tree and I talked about, I don't know, I don't know. I I hope (laughs) I mixed my metaphor, but it doesn't matter. I hope I hope the message, at least from my perspective, got through. So and I just want to say hello to all of your viewers and uh, happy Saturday morning to you. And um, it was my joy, my joy, because you're a you're a good man. You're oh. a good man, John. And you're, and you're doing a thing. So I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You know, it's now is the time that we all need to stand up and be counted with such dis- divisiveness going throughout this country, no matter if you're conservative or liberal. Um, it's it's a matter of that we need to stand up and take the country back and and uh, own own who we are and own what we want for our children and our children's children. 
Um, mm -hmm. and, it, and the bug yeah, stops here. The bug stops with us. Always, 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 always. The bug stops with you. So many people, um, li listen, I wrote a series <coughs> of novels for tweens. It's the Pandora series, and people can go and check it out. Um, but I wrote it in large part because I see so many of my friends, or so, so many of my friends with young kids, teaching them to, uh, you know, oh, if you can slough off responsibility onto somebody else, if you can, if you can pass along that buck. And I thought the moment we start taking responsibility for what we do, personal responsibility, that's when we, that's when our personal evolution just leaps forward by light. Um, so you're absolutely right. The buck stops with us. And, and that's when we become, I don't know, what's, what's the word? Fully actualized, as the word is. That's, that's just when we take a huge step forward in, uh, in establishing our sterling character. So, yeah. <laughs> what? What's happening here? What's going on? I am not putting on my mask. You had a mask. I had a mask <laughs> made of my face. I got to tell you something, John, that is 100% complete ownership. That is genius. It's a you, statement. It's, it, that, it's a statement that, it's that you know, hiding is not, uh, not something that any of us should, should do. And uh, I, I intend to do the opposite of hide, which is uh, a, tell people that, there is no reason to hide any longer. None. And None. It's, it, it's also um, a reminder to all of us that uh, as soon as more people start adhering to wearing masks, um, the sooner that we can go back to life as quasi normal. So um, yeah. anyway, it's my, pup, it's my PSA. It's, it's my channel. It's my PSA. I can say it. Um, but uh, on, on that note, uh, well, Carolyn, I just I wanted to. Too. I learned a lot too. I wanted to thank, thank you, you so and uh, hope to see and see you soon at the castle and chat and and just uh, call you a friend. So um, absolutely, teach me some card tricks. Absolutely, I will. I will do that. <laughs> All right, Carolyn. Okay. Talk to you thank later. You. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Uh, I will be back next Wednesday with the world's smallest magician. Take care. Bye.